Enjoy your stay. Ela. Lamentia, the goddess of painful love. Ooh. Don't mind if I yes. Silkana, the goddess of tender love. Again, don't mind if I yes. Microphone on. And we're live. Again. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> we're back from our little break here from Elden Ring. And as you can see, I've changed the title. So, we are now... We have finished up our series on Elden Ring, at least uh, part one of it. I wanted to get through Godric, and that was kind of my only goal with uh, Elden Ring. Um, if you guys want to see more Elden Ring content, let me know, and we will go back to it. But for now, we are going to jump into Fable Anniversary and maybe finish off this series today. Um, I think all we really have left to do is to go up against Jack of Blades. Again. Uh, I'm gonna start this off with some side quests and things, kind of knock out some, kind of knock out some side quests and all, and then we'll go from there. Until then, like we, this is the Necropolis, I just realized. Uh, there is also... I'm going to pull up the, I do want to finish up the Silver Keys quest today. So, trying to see where I have missed some Silver Keys. I think the, really the only one I missed, we do need to do the book collection quest. Uh, oh, we got to do the chicken kicking competition. That's right. Uh, did that one, and we gotta go back to the necropolis. Alright, so, that being said, let's jump into the game, and we'll have a good time, shall we? Go ahead and unplug my controller so it doesn't mess with me because I've been playing this one keyboard and mouse. I was playing Elden Ring keyboard and mouse there for a while too, but uh, while I was while I was grinding for runes, I was uh, I was using controller, which surprisingly made it a lot easier. But <clears throat> all right, we're in Bowerstone. Thanks, Briar. All right, so. Go up here real quick. Are you open? Hooray! Uh, we're going to get a normal haircut. Uh, standard beard does nothing for us. Big beard, though. There we go. Yes, yes. I'm back amongst my people. Alright. Now, head up to... We'll go ahead and head up here. I don't think I have enough books to give him still, but Ah, hello again. Why that's the creatures of Albion, volume one. 
a perfect way to learn natural sciences. Thank you, Hill. I'm sure we can put this to good use. He's doing a little jig. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now, Susie, you still... It's been years. You still haven't figured out how to sit in a chair. Jesus. I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the town. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy. Too. Also, if you don't feel like reading these books, to the sage this is who you give it to. They feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. By the way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them, screaming. That was a very chipmunk laugh. We'll donate Jack of Blades. Who's the red robed warrior that brings death and destruction to all of Albion? Jack! Who's the legend in the mask with the strength of ten heroes? It's Jack! Who's the demon that stalks in the night? Dragging bad children into hell. Jack. <laughs> Some say that Jack of Blades has lived forever and is not of this world. But there are those who claim it is not Jack, but his mask that we should fear, and that many men have worn it over the centuries. Whatever the truth, it seems Jack has escaped death once more. Who can hope to defeat him now? Me. I did it. I beat him. Ah, well, there's... The Repentant Alchemist. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn, not knowing my wife was living in sin. Oh. For while I served the town folk ale by day, at night my teacher's so ashamed by this performance he's not even looking. Way. But <laughs> soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives at pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its case. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> I can't even look at you right now, Billy. Like... The Journal of Bloody Nose. Zero in training. Day 14. This week, we've been developing our stealth skills by playing hide-and-seek. Knowing how to run and hide it's from story time with Drake. is an important skill for any hero these days. He seems to be a master of the art. It took us all day to find him after he teleported away. Eventually, we heard his cries and found him wedged inside a hollow tree in the Academy Woods. He wasn't at all happy that it took us so long to find him, but he decided to test our hiding skills next. We must be really good at it, because we've been out here in the woods for two days now, and he still hasn't found us. <laughs> right, I'm either... There we go. All right, well, I suppose we don't have all 25 books to give them. Um, well, in any case, 
Our next stop is Oakvale. <laughs> Deadly port. All right, so apparently you now get a silver key from the chicken kicking competition. So, we'll run and do that real quick. And hopefully we don't punt a bird across the sea with our massive physique. How much gold do I have right now? 51,000. I could probably buy just about every house. Can I tempt you? Ah, welcome, sir. Welcome. Might you be in? What you gotta do with? Vermin into the scoring area. There we go. Uh, my eyesight ain't what it used to be, but I can usually make out where they land. Mm-hmm. Want to give it a try? Play chicken if kicking. You could leave your weapon, 50 sir, gold. No spells allowed either. Wouldn't be very sporting now, would it? Mm, only chickens, you know. Then we shall get started. Good luck, sir. All right. Five rounds to accumulate points. All right, so we got hundreds over there. All right, bird. Work with me. Fifty. The silver medal position. A center left scores you fifty. All right, bird. Not bad at all. A center right scores you 50 points. What's our goal here? Chicken kicking real good. Fabulous shot. Far right, 100 points. Not bad. A center oh, left bullshit. Fifty. You say that's fifty. Yes, sir. Finger licking, chicken kicking, good. One hundred pointer to the far left. Holy moly! I thought chickens couldn't fly. Hmm. Maybe I haven't been feeding them enough lead. Fair is fair, though. I salute Lead. the chicken kicking abilities. Here's the chicken hat. Only one I had, too, so uh, don't be expecting to win any more hats. Can I tempt you to a game of chicken kicking, sir? Give me a chicken. Ah, why don't you j Same rule... I do just want to put this out there that no actual chickens were harmed in the making of this stream. Well done, and if so what? And if so what kind of way? Listen, bird. You and I? You and I we got this. Holy crap! Oh, too hard. <laughs> to wonder there's any <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's getting clipped. Oh, 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 oh. Straight as an arrow. Rubbish. Ten points. Bullshit. <laughs> Close but no cigar, a cent. Well done, and a 
so what kind of way Bullshit. you 50 an impressive display of hey we got the silver key Oh Lord have mercy that was that was a good one. Me and that chicken had it. He had the right idea. Go as far as he could. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Oh. Alright, um I gotta go to the necropolis again. Which means down in the Lost Bay. Alright. Woo! Please excuse me, I'm still chuckling over to Cake and Chickens. Listen, you lot. Also, one last area we have not... I think there's only really one area we have not discovered yet. And that's in Darkwood. There we go. All right. So we're on our way back to the necropolis. There is a silver key there that I missed. He saw me. Come on. I did see this ripple here, and I forgot to get it when I was playing last. Mostly because I was frustrated. <laughs> Come on. He 
these guys have just gathered around. Like, yeah. Hey, everyone! Watch this hero get surrounded, get his butt whooped. Come on. There was a noise. They have enough big fellas. I think they have enough big undead, big armored undead here. Oh, there's a chest here too. It seems you've mastered using the combat multiplier. Thank you, Guildmaster. I'm not even trying. How many of these guys are there, and why won't they just die? Again. Deanimate? Deanimate. That's the term we're going to use. Did it. Come on. There we go. All right, fella. There we go. Oh, hey. Did I just not have to come over here? Could I have gotten it from over there? Oh, I am so mad right now. Sorry, right, we can get that 25 key chest. Twenty-five. We did it. In the original game, that would have been it. But it's not. Archon's battle helmet. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hold up. Full suit. Where are you? Ooh! 
hell to the yeah. I mean, it's reskin plate armor. But it's plate armor. All right. So now So what I'm going to do is this. Right. So can we travel to the ancient colors gate? That would make things so much easier. No. So, Greatwood Colus Gate it is. There is particularly one side quest that I want to do. This makes me feel good. There we go. Really? That did not. I felt bad about that one. A little bit. Good? Good? You guys good? Okay. We need to go through Darkwood real quick. We particularly need to get to Darkwood Lake. God dang it. There we go. Yep, Darkwood entrance. I was afraid I took a wrong turn and went to Hob Cave. Bandits! Oh. You know what I have not seen yet? Twin Blades Assassins. I have not seen Twin Blades Assassins come in yet. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. About to say, trader, if you want to take out those those mushrooms for me, that'd be great. Thank you, sir. Here we are at Darkwood Lake. He did not go down in one swing. Hubs. Hey. Who told you to get up from the from a hero's head? Okay. 
So, where we want to go in particular is right here. The Darkwood Bordello. A hero. Oh, I've long prayed someone from the guild would come and... But I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Minch. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordello. Please, walk with me. Oops, I mean, sure. As you can see, the bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Weapons and spells are forbidden here. Men have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. But, well, we've got problems of our own. Mr. Grope. The current owner. Mr. Grope. Is what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. That's a name for a uh, bordello owner. Like slaves, little better than animals. Most of them have nowhere else to go, of course. If only we could find the bordello deeds. But I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Please enjoy your stay. Hello. Lamentia, the goddess of painful love. Ooh. Don't mind if I yes. Silkana, the goddess of tender love. Again, don't mind if I yes. All right. Entertainers in all Albion. Entertainers. A wide variety of their <laughs> special tastes. So long as you got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them cause trouble, you be sure to let me know. <clears throat> One last thing. Watch out for old Madame over there. Oh, her massive red hair. Drive me wild when she was younger. But she's all the sex appeal of a dead pig these days, isn't she? So instead of making me spill my secrets in the bed, she's been trying to get me drunk. I nearly fell for it once, but she won't catch me again. I'm the boss, and that's the way it stays. But this is me passing on. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. So Ready to help? the quest here is to get the deed. And he also gave you the trick to do it. Yeah, just gotta get him drunk. Best prices. Smiling ladies. Ah, oh, lovely ice cream. Ah, oh, another beer. Just what I wanted. Another beer. That's the stuff. Oh, how many is this? Huh? <laughs> I, I haven't felt this good in years. You are the best customer I have ever had, sir. Yeah. Six? Oh, my piano. I never feel too well. I think I'm heading upstairs for a nap, my good sir. Let me help you with that. You boss, oh. everything cool, right? I uh, <laughs> I think I've had a few too many. Better get you to bed, sleep it off. Can you manage him, hero? Yeah. All right then. Here yeah, I got him. Oh. 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 Oh.
Portello from under my nose, do. Well, we won't get far you know, without the deeds. Yeah. Oh, man, I've got those in a safe place. Yeah. Drunk me a whole keg of ale. I just hope I wasn't talking in my sleep again. Yep. Oh, my. Ladies. Fellas. All right. Now. Under the old tree by the lake. I actually thought it was in the lake, so I had Bordello Deeds. Got the deeds. Does that mean we're finally rid of old Grob? Oh, this is wonderful. What? Huh? How did you find it? It was perfectly hidden. This place meant everything to me, and now you've ruined it. Why? If you weren't quite such an imposing hero, I'd show you a thing or two. Well, I hope it rots and drops off. I'm like twice your height. Oh. Well. I suppose that makes you the new proprietor, then. And now we own the brothel. Are you here to take advantage of me? Like, I guess some things... Really? You know, you don't have to use us to make money. This could be a much better place if you were to... If you were to turn it into a refuge. Hedvig always makes more gold. Men go. You want me to show you? No. You not take advantage of Hedvig. You are a good man. Or maybe scared man. Hello, sir. I've been speaking with the girls, and... Well, we've had enough of this life. And now that old Grob is gone... I know it's a lot to ask, but perhaps you would consider turning this house into a refuge for fallen women? Do you want to close the bordello and allow it to become a refuge? Yes. What? Are you sure, sir? Once they've tasted freedom, my girls will never want to go back to being prostitutes. Close the bordello down permanently. Yes. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. She got real excited over Girls, that. Girls, you don't have to work anymore. You're free. Yay. Yay. All right. Yep, that was the side quest. That was it. Now this bordello is now a refuge for is now a refuge for women down on their luck. A place for them to stay. And here they come. <clears throat> so while we're here. Ow.
Now I know. A real killer. There's a silver key around here. I just don't know entirely where. Large glowing stone on the southern end of Darkwood Lake. To obtain it, aim and fire an arrow. Okay. That's complicated. So the southern end, there's a glowing stone. Oh. Mine. That's 26. Counted them myself. I actually did, and the game counted them for me. Um. And then the Cullis. That's the camp. Cullis Gates. Cullis Gates, the next one. Hmm. Ancient Cullis Gate. Supposedly there's a fishing spot somewhere. There you are. We're just going to button mash it. There we go. <laughs> Silver key. Twenty seven. All right. So I think that's all the normal ish ones. Uh, Lost Bay, we got that one. Necropolis. Second place or higher in the fishing competition. Donate 25 books to the school. So, what are we missing? Um, oh, we still gotta go up to Fargate Prison.
Oh, that's the other one I'm missing. Okay. Uh, Hero's Guild will probably be the, close, be the fastest. I figured out the one I'm missing. Aside from the one up by Bargate Prison. Uh, how are we doing on experience, by the way? I haven't really checked. Uh, ooh. Still can't get accuracy level 7, but... Go ahead and... Go back to Twitch. All right. So the one that I really missed Oh, I kind of feel bad about that overkill. I let the traitor die. A hero's too old to really care at this point. Uh, that's Orchard Farm. Uh, that's not what I want. Sure. Leave the traitor alone. Um... I think this is the last one I'm going to get. I'm not going to go up to Fargate Prison. Mostly because the last, the last silver key I need the books for. I'm not even close. Oh, there's two. And a chest. There it is. And what's in the chest? Leather gauntlets. All right. I think now is about a good time. About as good time as any. To go and make our way to our con shrine. Glad you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate, a 
and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are not as simple, are they? Oh. He doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the king of the arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Good point. Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? Hey. He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild, and they say he's a knothole glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. That's right. This is a much more involved quest than I thought it was. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? But its work is done. Soon I will have power beyond your imagining, and you will be the first to die. Cool story, bro. Alright. To not whole glade we go. I thought that was thunder coming through for a second there, like, yes, yeah, little hero. Now look, I won't tell you again. We don't need a hero. For the first time in years, we aren't being attacked, sieged, or kidnapped by anything. Now leave us alone. Thunder is still massive. You? <laughs> Briar Rose said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. You were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say... The souls of past champions haunted, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Now go, unless you're here to take my soul. You've taken everything else. What have? I, what exactly have I taken from you? The arena. You have a perfectly good soul right in front of you. What exactly have I taken from Thunder? Oh, hi. all of me like seriously his sister's still alive i just beat her left her alive lord knows where she is took lady gray away from him but i mean lady gray was just toying with him anyway he's still a king of the arena Like, he's not the first, and he certainly won't be the last. And I certainly won't be the last. Like, what exactly did I take from Thunder? Oh. Oh, shit. Dead creatures. Good 
Oh, good. Wait, 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 wait. Run! Run for your life! These things appeared in the cells and started killing everyone. Afraid to fight another. That is a uh, statue of us. Or is it? Ow. Seriously. Ow. Stop it. Did these things get stronger? I think they got stronger. There we go. This health potion. Gold. So, Scarlet Robe. Oh no, I think these are just generic heroes. Yeah. Leading up to Scarlet Robe, the first female hero of the... First female hero to win the arena. Oh my god. Jack, if it wasn't personal before, it is now. Just look at this just mindless slaughter. Holy shit. All right. Let's go see what Jack has prepared for us in the arena. No, that's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a truly special occasion. Watch a hero rip to pieces by trolls and Jack's very own. I think I'm scared of those. Because I'm really not. Ow. Until you throw more at me. Ow. Oh, shut up, Jack. The guildmaster can say that. You can't. The guildmaster's constant badgering about quest cards has grown endearing. You don't get to say it, though. Ow. Uh, his buddy killed him, so I don't get any experience. Who voices Jack of Blades? Kind of curious.
The voice sounds so familiar. There we go. Listen, I will take the buddy kill on that one. Listen, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a boulder. Ow. What's next, Jack? Jack's lovely minions are back, and they brought some puppies for our hero to play with. I mean, if you're just gonna put me through the arena gauntlet again, can you can you at least pay me for it? There's this real nice sword in the shop that I'm that I was looking at. And also, this quest did not get harder. It just got easier with Balverines. The trolls were more annoying. Can our hero withstand another wave of friendly furry beasts? We certainly hope not. I know you hope not. You're too afraid of me. Shut up, Jack. Alright, what are you going to throw at me next? Hobbs? Bandits? Assassins? I mean, I'm just going by trend here. You went easier. Ah, bitches. I give you summoners. Oh, shit. I was not paying attention. God! Dang it. 
Shut up, Jack. Hey, you can knock back their boulders. Come on. All I wanna do, there we go. Kind of the idea, but me and Jack can fight. What's this? More trolls? Can our washed up ex? Come on. Like, seriously, Jack's minions are whatever. Trolls launching boulders at me that knock me down every time I get hit? That's annoying. There's an important quest card at the guild for you. Nice. your moment.
Him. Is there a Balverine following me? There is. Ladies and gentlemen. That's where I actually have to pay attention. I might have died to the summoner exploding last time. No need to panic. Oh crap. Oh crap. No need to panic. We got this. Ow. Summoners deal a ton of damage, man. There we go. So, going through heroic mode, imagine going through uh, classic mode with resurrection vials. Okay. We did it. All right. Archon Shrine. Here we go. I forgot about all of this. Otherwise, I would have just gone back to Archon Shrine like right away. I hope this thing works. We need to release the soul from the mask, and, and well, your guess is as good as mine. I've never seen anything like it. It's like it's using the soul to power itself. Anyway, we figured out the second inscription. It says, the heroine. I can't think of anyone who fits the description better than Scarlet Road. 
Or you. There's always me, of course, but as you can see, I'm still alive. And I plan to stay that way. You'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? All right, to Oakvale we go. Get the soul of the heroine. Think we'll need a needle. She's the one that deciphering the inscriptions. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of screaming. Uh, <laughs> you're a bitch. I know what you seek, son, but Jack has sent a legion of screamers to torment my soul. They won't allow me to leave, and now they will try to take you, too. Okay. Let them try. Collect your mother's soul. Oh. Oh, they had to word it like that. We are literally just mowing these things down. <laughs> Seriously, we might be a little overpowered. Wait, what? What? What just happened? Banshee screams doing damage the entire time. That's what happened. God dang it. God bless it. I wasn't even paying attention to my health either. Because we were doing so well. We were just... Like, nothing was hitting me. Nothing... You know, sonic energy or sonic damage. That's a thing. Uh, 
There we go. Jack's spirit is strong, and his new form is almost ready. But I sense how he fears you. Take my soul and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. Yes, ma'am. Back to the shrine. I really don't remember this one at all. Oh. Oh. Tale as old as time. You couldn't decipher the heroine just by looking at that. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now. There's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. Oh, come. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine wants, hero. Jack? So it really is true. He's alive. And still up to his old mind games. I hope the guild acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the guild and speak with them. Back to the guild we go. Welcome back, sir. This place is for a mess since you left. Oh, internet died. Come on, reconnect. Let's go back. Come on, restart. And a guild master's only got an up. All right. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it. The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be not strong. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. <laughs> well, good luck, hero. Never heard such nonsense. Let's go ahead and... Yeah. Let's go ahead and bump up magic power to level 7. I think we might be live again. Come on. Come along. Move along, move along like I know you do. Even when your hope is gone, move along, move along just to make it through. Move along. Nope. Back to reconnecting.
All right. We still got the recording. This will still go up on VOD. Hey, we're back up. Welcome back, everyone. At least I hope we're back up. Come on. There we go. Get away from it. Three for one. That's what I'm talking about. Before I go up there, I'm going to go check out this chest. Why not? We'll take a health potion. back. Going unstable. Give it a few minutes, see what happens. And looks like we are back. Welcome back, everyone. I think the internet around my area is being a little uh, dodgy. So we'll see what happens here. Almost there. We're almost there. Yep. All right. Now the question becomes what does Jack have waiting for us through this door? Guildsman, 
we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostro, and mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor. Aye, aye, Nostro. Collect Nostro's stole from Glinchfield Graveyard. Ow. Ow. <clears throat> Why did it give him demon horns in his, uh... Oh, I kind of see it. Okay. By his health bar, he has demon horns. Looking at his helmet, I kind of see it now. All you really got to do is just keep wailing, a, is just with a good powerful swing. Because while you're wailing on Nostro, keep attacking his uh, minions so that when he does go incorporeal. I think we got him. Yep, we got him. No jack interference, no nothing. Briar. Briar, you gonna tell me to come back to the shrine? Briar. Briar. Useless librarian of a teacher say what? Librarian of a hero say what? Nothing. Oh, oh, hey, silver key chest. It's only a ten, so it's not going to be anything like spectacular, but piercing augment. Not while we're here, because I'm lazy and don't want to come back here again. Our hero really is just massive. Particularly in armor. Ah, oh, there it is. About to say, like, no enemies, no nothing coming through here? That's weird. I'm going to ignore them. Because I just don't feel like fighting undead right now. This should be the cliffside path. Yep. Um... Was it on the north side? Oh, 
Ah. There it is. So we are missing one silver key now. And to do that, we need to collect 12 more. Yeah, 12. No, 17 more books. If I can do math. And here we go. The inscriptions say only one hero will be allowed to pass through the gate. And, hey, guess what? You're the strongest. I don't know what form Jack's going to take, but I don't think it's going to be small and furry, do you? Good luck. For all our sakes. Funny. You're too late, little hero. Once more, too late. Come to the bronze gate. You've received a new we quest card. Well, this is it. Suddenly all that running around after ships and souls seems like child's play, doesn't it? Well bet, yeah. Should you fail, there is little hope for the people of Albion. You wanna put that any more bluntly? Alright. Chat. Everybody watching. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Drake v. Drac Drake versus Jack of Blades. Round two. I missed an area. Ah, here you are. It's been a long wait, but I knew you'd free me eventually. Yes, always the puppet. Don't you ever get tired of having your strings pulled? Ain't no strings on me. Nothing to me. Yep, there we go. Ain't a classic fantasy game unless there's a dragon. 20,000 gold for beating Jack of Blades. Oh. You bitch. How dare you, sir? Whoop, 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 bop, bip, bop, bibbidi bop, bidip, bibbidi bop. I hit the windows, but. Bip, bop, bibbidi bop, bidap, bidip, bip, bop, bidip, bop. A bibbidi bap, a bibbidi bap. Oh, I see how to get away from that. Okay. Has it? Has it though? Where'd you fly off to? There you are. Come on, Jack. Come 
on, Jack. Stop being a coward. Come face me. After I heal. Because I just realized how little health I had. Ow. isn't really a tough boss fight per se just it's more just outlasting Also just hit me, I can probably just come up here and whack you. Come on, Jack. Get your play off, dude. Oh, hi. Rude. Where I was standing, dick. Listen, this is the same hammer that beat you before. Ow. Oh crap, am I out of potions? There's a rude. Now come down here so I can teach you a lesson. We got him about halfway. We got him over halfway now. Ow. Emma, stop. Hammer time. Oh, stop. Minion time. Ah, uh, how? Oh. Summoner time, too. Apparently. Oh. That would be my phone. Guildmaster, now is not the time. Yeah, ouch. Oh, did we... Did we? We got him. Get a taste of your own medicine, Jack. Yes, you must destroy the mask. Whatever you do, you must not wear it. Guildmaster sounds different. Of course we're throwing it away. Cast it into the fire! Yeet. And just walk away. Quest completed, the final battle. 
We only got 5,000 experience for that. It was a battle that would be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oakvale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time. And credits. I think. So we got the burning of Oakvale. Well, everyone, that was Fable. We've beaten it. We're done. At least I think this is credits. I haven't seen credits roll yet. Kraken we fought in Bargate Prison. Super pixelated. Like, from afar, these images look good. But right now, they are super pixelated. What do we got next? Ah, Teresa's story. How Teresa came to stand by Twinblade's side. How she gutted some bandits. Learned to fight blind. Bandaged twin blade down there, did random chores. The story of Scarlet Robe. The mighty Balverine Slayer who settled down in Oakvale and had two children. The first female champion of the arena. So guys, let me know what you thought about Fable. We're going to keep going through here, just reminiscing for a bit. Uh, I think there was one life event that we never did. And that was get married. Uh, getting married is a life event for the walls of the uh, Chamber of Fate. Uh, is this Bargate Prison? Looks like Bargate Prison. Yeah, it's Bargate Prison. When we were locked up. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below or in the chat what you guys thought about Fable. We have now beaten it. We're now just reminiscing our time spent this was also heroic mode so yep this was bargate prison when we were held for held for a year and tortured endlessly ruthlessly in reality in real life we were there for about eh, 15 minutes 
20 minutes. It wasn't very long. But in the game, it was two years. In the game, it was a year. All right, what do we got next? I also appreciate, so I never actually beat the Anniversary Edition. I do appreciate that they didn't change anything about the title sequence, because in the original Fable, in the original Fable, it went, it did this as well, went through all of the, uh, this is the first time we beat Jack of Blades, emerged a hero. So anyone just joining, huge spoilers. Uh, we just beat the game. Yeah, so yep, standing off standing there overlooking overlooking the kingdom of Albion. And we we beat Jack of Blades. For a year there was peace. Until Jack threatened the world again. And next up on the list is This is not in not in order at all. Uh which one's this one? Which one is this one? Oh, this is Jack. This is the one we just got. This is Dragon Jack. This is the actual final boss fight of Fable. Uh, technically the final boss fight of the last chapter's expansion. But for this game, the true final boss of this game. The true ending to the hero of Oakvale's tale. As we cast Jack of Blades' mask into the lava. Ending Jack of Blades for good. Uh, is this arena? Yep, that's Whisper. This is the arena fight, the final arena fight against the, well, penultimate arena fight against the Scorpion. Uh -huh. The final arena fight was us against Whisper, which we won and left Whisper alive, never to see her again, which always struck me as strange. Like, we, we see Thunder several times, we see Briar Rose, especially in the Lost Chapters. Like, you would think they would bring her back more. Uh, maybe even as a candidate for the heroine. Like, she's still alive. She's still out there. Unless Jack killed her. The only thing I can think of. So next. Internet has been real dodgy today. That's Jack. Which one's this one? Oh, Maze. Maze's betrayal. How oh, Maze has been under Jack's spell this whole time. We're still going. Yeah, that was a huge twist. Like, when I was a kid, I did not see Maze's betrayal coming. 
Actually, with this playthrough, I didn't real I forgot about it until it until just before it happened. Uh, and we're back to the beginning of our story. After the burning of Oakvale, our training in the guild. Making goo goo eyes at, you know, some of the ladies. Maze bringing us to the guild. Having Maze at the beginning and the end of this store, of his story within this story, is so nice. So the portraits in the Chamber of Fate are... The portraits in the Chamber of Fate are fairly... They're disorganized. I just wonder if there is a reasoning behind it, or... Yeah, internet's being real dodgy. But we still have the VOD. I'm pretty sure I got Jack's fight live. Oh. What is this? Hold on. I hit escape to skip scene. They like went to our hero. In the Chamber of Fate. Which, knowing a thing or two about game design, I know why they did it. Just learnt the insult expression. Just learnt the insult expression? To use the thrust expression. We're evil? Wait. You're now evil enough to use the middle finger expression. Oh, I think we got that for beating the game. What area did we miss? It said 80 out of 81 areas unlocked. I figured it would have been the bordello, because we never went there. I mean, well, we went there at the beginning of this stream, but what area didn't we go to? I really don't know. Anyway, that's it. That is Fable. Let's let's end the stream as we always do. Back at the guild. I'm also going to flip over the camera. So yeah, that was Fable. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I know my internet was a little dodgy there, um, but I know live was the uh, Jack fight, so that'll be available on VOD for the rest of the week. If you guys missed that, if you guys want to see that, uh, the archive, of course, I'll have this uploaded. Uh, the archive is about a week behind, so this won't be in there this week. It'll probably be mid next week that this VOD goes up. Um, thank you to everyone who joined for the, uh, who joined for the Elden stream, Elden Ring stream earlier. Uh, we finished my goal for that for the stream. Uh, again, we might come back to that. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what all, any games you want to play, you want to see me play. Um, we are done with Fable 1. Uh, Fable 2 and 3 are available on the Xbox Live, or not Xbox Live, on Xbox Game Pass. So, uh, instead of this, which I was planning on playing tomorrow, uh, maybe we'll fire up Fable 2 and take a look at that. And that's just, oh, so looking forward to that. I know we're, we're all looking forward to that. Um, I actually... I only played Fable 2 
like at launch. Oh, when did Fable 2 come out? It was like 2012. So I would have been. No, it was earlier than that, wasn't it? It was a lot earlier than that. I I was in my teenage years when Fable 2 came out. I remember playing it with buddies because there was the co-op system in Fable 2 and 3, um, which we were really excited for. And then the co-op system. The co-op system was actually fun. It's just not what they promised. <laughs> um, but I enjoy Fable 2 to a point. Um, we'll get to that point. Uh, I do want to play Fable 2 and 3 on stream. But let me know what you guys want me to play. Um, yesterday, or not yesterday, Saturday, we played Tomb Raider. Uh, which may turn into a series here. Uh, and we've still got a story of Seasons of Wonderful Life. Which we... Which I at least want to get through the first year of the story. So... We'll come back to that. That's still an ongoing series. So, yeah, let me know anything you guys want to see me play. Uh, check out the Archive YouTube channel uh, under Crazier Drake 626 uh, Same as the Twitch. Um, and until then, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through this entire Fable playthrough. Uh, much like Star Trek, I'll probably cut all of this together into a supercut and have it on the archive so it's just one long video uh the arc the stream archives will actually be available as well um that'll probably be up in a couple of weeks it's going to take a little bit the internet is really fighting me today uh i think we're back up again uh, but I think that is my cue to stop talking and get off, and I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye, guys.